Hey guys, what's up? Felipe here. Welcome to my channel, Focus Diversity. Um, so I just want to make a quick video. Been a little swamp lately uh, in terms of like the market overview. Today is uh, January the 31st. Market actually kind of bounced back today. But in my opinion, that's more of like a, just one of those one day swings. Um, where things kind of bounce back, but I feel like, you know, we're currently in a downtrend for the majority of the overall market, except commodities yet. But the time will come for commodities to decline, of course. Um, I'm keeping an eye out on the uh, FOMC meeting that it's upcoming in March, I believe uh, 15 and 16th of March because the Federal Reserve says that they're supposedly going to start uh, hiking rates, you know, at some point during or after that meeting. So we'll see if they're true to the word. I believe so, because everyone's saying, the, um, in contrast, everyone is saying that they're not going to do anything. So I feel like when you tell someone that you're not going to do anything, the more you tell them, eventually they will. So... I believe they're going to raise rates and that will kind of kick in the next cycle, which would be at some point after when they start raising rates, which is the same vicious cycle that happens over and over again, right? They raise rates, market uh, economy enters a recession. At some point down the line, they have to do what? They have to lower rates. They have to begin quantitative easing and fire up the money printer same thing that you know the central banks and uh federal reserve have done since they've been around literally since like what the 1930s or well i mean for the most part you know literally like right after uh the dollar was separated from the gold standard so it's a vicious cycle it's not it's never gonna end um and my guess is gonna be um again this is just my opinion they're going to raise rates um, at some point before or after commodity prices are going to come down dramatically. One that I'm eyeing is um, oil prices. You know, um, for the short term, I was bullish on oil and crude oil, fossil fuel and whatnot uh, due to the supply uh, chain um, issues. And however, now after that's all done and said i feel like oil is literally at a peak where at some point it's going to tip off and go on the other direction and it should sell off pretty dramatic i think which i'm kind of trying of um trying to do a lot of research online and whatnot via articles and i like uh researching opec a lot because uh they you know, OPEC pretty much runs the world um, production of oil, increases, decreases and whatnot. Um, earlier, well, during December and January, they announced that they were going to increase supply due to the high demands and whatnot. Um, and on top of that, you know, with the Federal Reserve raising rates, strengthening the dollar because now the dollar um retains more of his value being as that they make it a little more expensive to borrow money that's gonna have a uh that's gonna put downward pressure on commodity prices um as you've noticed steel has gotten hammered uh pretty recently so it's the first one to go down and as with every other crash that's ever occurred not all asset classes start crashing at the same time it starts with one, it starts with the other. It's it's like a domino effect, you know. Sometimes it starts with tech, the tech sector. Then it moves into, I don't know, um, real estate. And then possibly commodities and whatnot. So it never begins within the same uh, sector. Or, I mean, it, 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 the contagion doesn't affect all of the sectors at the same time for the most part. So majority of the speculative um majority of the risk assets have come down to earth somewhat however i believe that based off of the valuations and how extreme it is they're going to come down a lot more 
again, I'm open minded to make money in whatever way that I possibly can. And, you know, I've learned a lot about uh, non fungible tokens and whatnot. You know, the whole uh, digital assets, cryptocurrency, you know, I'm open minded to it 100 percent. Um, and if a per opportunity arises where I can make, you know, a couple of bucks, why not? Hey, right. So, however, the way I'm looking at cryptocurrency, I don't mean a, a, in, in terms of all the coins, because I don't know how many they are. There's a ton. It's impossible to keep track of all of them. But I'm seeing the herd mentality in terms of when I go um, to a dinner meeting or whatnot, or I meet with a couple of buddies, uh, nine out of 10 of them are talking about a different coin. And it's almost like ideology in terms of that they, they're religious about whatever coin they hold and whatnot. So uh, to me, that's um, herd mentality. And it, it kind of spooks me because... It opens my eyes in terms of that when the environment is this out of control, it's a sign that something bad is going to occur to the economy at some point in the future. So, I mean, I'm open minded to cryptocurrency. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if I ever see the opportunity to buy into Bitcoin and make some money off of it, I will. However, based on the fact that Bitcoin is over leveraged and a lot of people have purchased it using borrowed money with the increase of rates that's going to have a downward pressure on Bitcoin and as you know when Bitcoin goes down so do all the other coins follow all right guys well it was nice chatting with you um hit me with a like and a subscribe of course you're welcome not to and I'll talk to you guys soon